Okay, so I'm in New York and I have well water. And I purchased a power washer. I purchased a couple of years ago a Pressure Pro uh, four gallon per minute, 4,000 PSI pressure washer. And the last couple of years it's worked fine. This year, I went to use it on the, on the pool deck here. Symptoms were, the symptoms were it would run for about 30 seconds. The, the motor ran fine. It was the pump I was worried about. It would run fine for probably 20 seconds, and then it would seem to lose prime. And the water pressure would go down to like faucet pressure, you know, like this, just right out of the tap. And then with no rhyme, it would go back to spraying like a pressure washer. And then 20 seconds later, it would go back down. And it was up and down and up and down sometimes for 10 15 minutes fine and then the pressure would get lost i had no reason no idea why so I did a google search and i could not find the answer uh, a lot of the videos dealt with dealt with this thing i fear the the blow off valve or whatever the bypass valve and this thing's relatively new i mean maybe i use it three times a year and it's i'm a homeowner so what I realized, everybody who put out a video said the same thing, but they didn't elaborate as to what the symptoms would be if it was no good. Everything I read and everything I saw said, and of course you have to make sure that you're getting four gallons to minute, per minute to the machine out of, your, out of your faucet. Well, nobody said what would happen if you weren't getting the four gallons per minute. Well, I'm here to tell you that's exactly what the problem was. The problem was I have a well, and if you get less than the required amount, what happens is the thing uses more water than your faucet can give it, and then the pump gets starved, and then it goes to low pressure. And then as, the, as it accumulates more water, same thing happens. So, I don't know if I'm making myself clear, but what I did was I put this together. So I had an old garbage can, and I used to have an aquarium. So this is a bulkhead fitting that I installed on a garbage can. I just drilled a hole through it, uh, the bulkhead fitting, and then there's a hose adapter. On the inside is the back of that bulkhead fitting. And you can see I have an aquarium pump. Uh, how much is a pump? Well, if there were no backflow issues, in other words, if it was non-restricted, it would probably do way more than four gallons per minute. But the problem is, and I didn't realize, I think anytime you're dealing with something like this, look at the size of the hole, teeny, okay, even though it's a three quarter inch hose, that's probably less than a half an inch opening. So shy of drilling a hole and reaming it out and making it a little bit thicker, I'm not quite sure what you do. But anyway, so I assembled this. I'm gonna show you how it works. I brought out the generator. If it's close to the house, I can just plug it in, but I'm gonna show you how it works. So what I do is I let the water from the faucet fill this halfway up, and then I pull the water out of here and go into the pressure washer, and it works completely perfectly. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how this is set up. So I got water from the faucet going into this, this tub, and the idea of this is it's a reservoir. I'm not gonna use I can use at least four gallons per minute, but if I if this thing draws more than my faucet can handle, this will be able to handle it. I have this going into a Honda generator, which again can plug it into my house. But this is a pretty efficient small thing. All right, I'll start it up. I have it on this. This thing is like a hog. This thing uses a lot of uh, water, so I'll start it up, and you'll see how it looks like. All right. Maybe. This is now being pressurized. I'll show you how it works. It draws, it doesn't draw. I mean, there's positive pressure heading in. We'll start this up.
that's it. So it's not starved for water. It's not starved for water because I got an extra water supply here. I mean, I don't know that it can run. I've seen videos where people have these things running, just sucking water from here. I don't know that it can actually, I don't even know that it could actually suck the water, but I have the water positively being, being uh, pressured into the power washer. So that's it.